In today's news, we have a huge interview between CEO and co-founder of Real Vision, Raul Powell, and billionaire Wall Street investor Mike Novoglas, an interview that might shock you, yet confirming what we have all been saying all along, the 1% are corrupt and manipulative. Because of the SEC, I now have to carry two phones. I've got my personal phone and i got my work phone. My work phone has my Bloomberg on it and it's got my trading stuff and this just doesn't. This is in my hotel room. I'm sitting there and I just see something on gold up two and a half, three percent. Now, this has lifetime PL of all my accounts. Nothing. And I'm like, ha! So, for any of you who may still be confused, effectively, Mike Novogratz is hinting at market manipulation. The news about the market fluctuations are appearing on his regular phone, most likely through Twitter or X. Whereas his work phone for trading, there are not any notifications because Bloomberg are not reporting it, most likely because the government doesn't want people to notice or is it because they are confused? In the words of Professor Stone here, CNBC have reported markets are completely confused with oil, gold and bonds disagreeing on the session. The reason why is because the Federal Reserve is quote an 800 pound gorilla that dominates markets and they have no idea what it's doing, meaning the markets also have no idea what they are doing. The interview continues further and takes a very interesting turn as the two start discussing the recent announcement with Elizabeth Warren and Jamie Dimon with Mike Novogratz saying they are both wrong and Raul Powell dropping his insights as to why Jamie Dimon is now so against cryptocurrencies. I heard Elizabeth Warren on TV and saying, well, it doesn't have any real value. And so why should we even care about it? And I'm thinking to myself, Lady, who do you think you are? Like the richest woman in your state believes it has value. The richest man in Pennsylvania, Jeff Yass from Susquehanna, believes it has value. Stan Druckenmiller, Ray Dalio. Some of the great investors of the world believe it has value, but Janet Yellen doesn't. And like, okay, you don't have to participate, but like, don't be so goddamn arrogant to think you're right and everybody else is wrong. Like the market's right and you're wrong. And Jamie, you've been wrong. I love Jamie Dine and I hope he runs for president, but he's been dead wrong on Bitcoin. Yeah, and, you know, he's also got the vested interest that, you know, when you've got the monopoly on the banking system, the last thing you want is a competitor. At the end of the day, crypto is coming no matter what the corrupt individuals attempt to do. The world leaders are preparing for it, which is why you should do your own research and prepare for this new financial age as well. If you've watched the video, please like, share, subscribe, or speak. Good day and good night.